Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Joe. Back at it again with Bob. Um, man, I was going through a lot. Just I'm very confused on how terror cycles are calculated, considering on the Bob website, it says $1 buys 1 trillion cycles. And then we go to the SDR valuation, which according to the glossary on ICP, uh, it's all calculated based off of the price of XDR which is currency code for special drawings rate SDR, and SDRs are supplementary foreign exchange assets that are defined and maintained by the International Monetary Fund. Um, really, looking at the SDR rate, we could see that it's 1.313 currently, so not 1.35, like it's not like fixed, this is based off of this rate right here, and we can see it's 1.31 for an SDR, so 1 trillion cycles on the ICP network costs that rate, but on bob which is a specific canister on the icp network it's fixed at one dollar from what i'm seeing so truly i'm very confused when it comes to how we're supposed to calculate the price of bob because according to what reddit posts or, or on x on it, it basically said that bob blocks are being mined at an average cost of about 0.6 per coin after the halving this would hold true if we are calculating the price based off of a 1.35 uh, you know, dollar rate per t per terror cycle. So if we simply do something like, let's take like the, the average. So the average of all this, 104 between 156, probably 130. So we take 130 trillion cycles, multiply that by 1.35, we get $175.5. You divide that by the current block rewards for Bob, and that gives us a price of 0.585. So a little bit above 130, so it should cost about 130, 235, trillion cycles on average to mine bob so if that's what they're basing it off of then yes this holds true the price of bob should be on average about 0.6 cents per bob at least for the current blocks being mined and of course we're going to see a dip in the price of bob currently because we have a lot of miners that were mining before at 600 so these people are going to start taking profits and honestly we can expect something to be like this where we're going to hover between this zone between 0.4 and 0.6 cents for quite a while until those people those people that are selling their tokens that were mining from before are all out of the system and then we have new buyers coming in also buying that up so this is the accumulation phase that they're talking about right here heavy accumulation phase but if we base it off of what the bob website says which is one dollar equals one trillion cycles then that changes everything i mean really 150 if we take the average of 135, multiply by $1, still 135, divided by 300, that gives us an average price of 0.45 cents per bob. I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that, could, <clears throat> that could definitely hold true for a bit. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's 0.6 or 0.45, but really, right now, it's looking like this is the truer statement. So I'm not too sure who posted this, if this is like the guy... Uh, long-term investor posts are pure entertainment okay yeah so maybe he is wrong i mean this is what i'm seeing uh, and the average price of bob is actually supposed to be 0.45 cents i'm gonna go off of this for now just because we're gonna take a more bearish sentiment because yeah this market isn't fully there yet this is just an early starter and where the price of bob is currently laying is exactly what we just calculated it's averaging around 0.45 cents so we should be hovering around 0.6 uh, to point like uh, or point five five to point three five, and this would be a great accumulation zone. So if we're basing it off of this, this makes sense. But man, I'm just like the SDR rate is one point three one. So on the ICP network, it may be at a rate of one XDR, which is one SDR, which according to this is one point three one, which changes every now and then, but probably hovers around that for quite some time. I tried checking. I tried uh, checking and backdating the, the previous values for this. I didn't really get much out of it, so I'm not too sure. Beyond this point, we're gonna stick with this bearish, more bearish sentiment and believe what it says on the Bob, you know, website. One dollar buys one trillion cycles. So 0.45 is supposed to be the average price of Bob. I mean, not exactly what we expected, but truly, I mean, if we're looking at the leaderboard, uh, actually, I did have someone post the Bob having schedule, which is very beautiful. If we even stick to this, and one t and one trillion cycles equals 
you know, what we were saying, you know, 0.45 cents, whatever average price above. If we even wait till 2026 uh, or 2025, next year, 2025, where the price of Bob or the block rewards for Bob will be at about 18.75 after the fifth halving, we can do something like this. 135 terror cycles divided by 18.75. That would give us an average price of 7.2 dollars per bob so <clears throat> yeah uh one year hold you can expect something like that which is a nice 20x really and this is just based off of pure supply and demand not fomo not the bullish cycle causing fomo nothing like that so really you know the price of bob can fluctuate wildly considering it's a, such a low market cap i felt needs to stop going off like geez <laughs> leave me alone people but yeah, uh, I mean, I'm just going to base it off of that. I mean, if we base it off of the 1.35, then we, we simply get like 135 multiplied by 1.35. And then we divide that by 18.75. That'd be an average price of about $10 per bob. So something around there. I know it's not like an insane amount of difference, but that still makes a big difference when it comes to truly portraying the honest truth about what bob is and what it can be capable of. Uh, this this could take a little while before things start to take off, as we can see here. On November 28th, Bitcoin had its first halving. That was right here. You can obviously see people were kind of excited, whoever was in this, the early adopters. And the price just stagnated, 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 all the way up till the 7th of January of next year. After that, that's when we started seeing a real run. And this isn't even the full run. So price started exploding after this. And it actually hit a peak of about $260. And then we can see that it also dumped down all the way back to about $46. But we never saw this price again. We never saw that price again. So just know that what you're buying now are tokens that are never going to go below your average purchasing price. So you're always going to be in profit probably next month. So get ready for that. Don't, like, don't get too scared. Like, oh my God, the price of Bob is dumping. The halving didn't really work. No, it worked. It's in the code. You can go to the homepage and see that we're mining 300 bob per block. You know, the, the leaderboard says itself we're mining them at about 128, 133 terra cycles. That's like the average that I, I can see from here. And even after that, it took after about this dump, we can see Sunday, the 14th of April, all the way till October. So that's like a good seven, six months right there until the price really started to take off for bitcoin and it, literally in a span of two weeks two weeks guys like this fourth of november all the way till this is one month one month of price action literally drove this thing up so oh, much i don't even need to think twice about this bob is going to do something similar we can see that the average price is reflecting my initial calculations of one dollar per terracycle around 0.45 but it's not going to go lower than this this is probably where Bob's going to average out. And anything below 0.45 is a steal, is what I'm trying to portray here. And to basically put your expectations in reality, this is going to keep going up. And it's probably going to you know, steadily stay right here until next year in February, which is not too far away. And then we're probably going to see another bump up all the way to probably 0.75. Or we can even just do a calculation ourselves. So if we're getting 75 or 150 next time, uh, for the block rewards, we could do 135 divided by 75. That gives us $1.8 per bob. And so if we're like hovering around here, chilling, 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 and then we somehow get the halving, we should probably be like, I don't think it's going to be like a straight accumulation phase from here. Like it's probably going to be something like we're going to be slowly going up hitting down here a little bit, you know, go, going all around. And then right when the halving comes or near the halving, we're probably going to be hitting the peak price of what it should have been because things usually get priced in a bit earlier. So well, we should realistically be, I mean, <laughs> and the next halving is going to be crazy, guys. Uh, and it's just going to keep going this way. This is just based off of pure supply and demand, not even based off FOMO, not even based off the fact that Bitcoin is bringing more and more money into the market and icp's market cap is already going up too i mean we can, we can check it out on coin market cap uh, icp's up 3.65 percent today six five point six nine billion dollars and this is 
just simple proof that what Bob is doing works. And when people see, well, it had its first halving, and the price is sitting at 0.45 cents, pretty good. It's definitely going up. And then we, you know, next halving's coming, price is sitting at about a dollar and nine cents or a dollar, 1.8, you know, dollars per Bob. And it slowly gets up to that huge. That is pretty far up, guys. It's pretty far up. We can expect this to climb throughout this cycle. So it should probably be something like this where we peak up. So expect this. This is exactly what you should expect. There's nothing more I have to say. Bob is the thing to hold. Don't sell your Bob. If you sell anything below 0.45 cents, you're robbing yourself is all I'm going to say. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope this information was valuable to you. Thank you so much for posting this uh, on X. Uh, I, mean, I know you're just a you know, long-term investor, pure entertainment, but this helped open up my mind to how to truly calculate where we should be at with Bob. So thank you, Chief Indo. I appreciate your, um, your information. Uh, I hope that you appreciate this too. And if you guys think that I was wrong or I'm calculating the price of Bob wrong, let me know. Thank you.